The side swoop is giving everything it ever needs to give. Everything is working. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mina. We are back with another video. Today's video is going to be a cherry red, fiery hot install. I'm giving you side part. I'm giving you baby hairs. I'm giving you side swoop. I'm giving it all. Today we are sponsored by Nadula Hair. I'm giving y'all the full install tutorial, start to finish, how to get this look. So stay tuned. But before you go, make sure you follow me on my socials. Thank you. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's get into it. I am tired. It is 5 a.m. in the morning. I am not a morning person. I am not one of those people who gets up at the ass crack of dawn. Although I will say that I do want to be one of those people one day. That day is not today. We are installing some hair that was sent to us by Nadula. I actually really do like their wigs. I own like two or three of their wigs. So yeah, this being my third or fourth, excited. But today is definitely something very different for me and for y'all because y'all haven't seen it on this page and I haven't done it behind the scenes. So let me, I guess y'all have already seen the wig, but she's beautiful. The quality of the hair is amazing. Melts between your fingers. As you saw earlier, we are not keeping this body wave, but it comes beautifully curled. The lace is a transparent lace. It's a little bit on the thicker and lighter side, but we're gonna do our best. What I will say though, is that the wig does come nicely pre-plucked. So that saves me a little bit of time. I literally have to leave for work in two hours. So first things first, I'm going to tint my lace because I'm not even gonna try to kid myself that this will blend into my skin. We're not gonna play ourselves this early in the morning. The day just started. Gotta get some coffee in me at least before I start playing myself, so I think that is a little bit better. Yeah, I would say I'm satisfied. This fits nice. I think I ordered a small cap size, so that's great. Okay, yeah, the lace definitely looks much better now that I've tinted it. I'm pleased. I also really like the plucking. The plucking looks really good to me. So I am planning on doing a side part. I really kind of want to figure out where I want that side part to be. This is giving Jessica Rabbit. Hold on. Or do I do it on this side? No. Definitely the left. Cause like if I can find a starting point, then I can just do the cleaning up of the part on my wig head. I need to map it out on my own head first, which is what I suggest everyone does. You have to figure out kind of like how deep you want the part, where it looks best on you. I finally got my side part where I wanted it. It took me longer than I honestly have, but that's fine. Anything for the look, you feel me? I'm gonna cut some of this lace off because it's long and obstructing my sights. I just need to get this out of the way, Char. Much better. Now I can see ya. Okay, so we are going to pin the hair back real quick. We are going to cut our ear pieces. I don't have to do too much, thankfully. Trace down from the ear and just start cutting around your ear. This fits around the ear perfectly. I barely had to cut the ear flaps off, which is great. I love when the wig is actually the right size for my head because this is a small cap size. So yeah, same thing on this side, pin that back. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. And we're just gonna cut. I'm gonna roll this back. We are going to apply a little wig adhesive spray. I'm gonna do that along the hairline. Just make sure you brush that back. It's nice and tacky, so we are going to put this wig on. I'm just gonna kind of make sure it's still in the right place and then pull it forward at the sides. I'm just gonna start combing the hair away from the lace. Comb, comb, comb. Gonna try our best to maintain the part, but of course we're gonna clean it up once we move on to styling anyway. All right, we're feeling kind of stuck, which is great. Now that that's done, I'm gonna bring out a wig band and I'm going to start melting this lace. Alrighty. So now we are going to remove our wig band, see where we're at because I need to actually start getting ready for work at some point. Ugh. Okay, lovely. Feels pretty secure. So now we're gonna cut the lace. I'm just gonna move in segments. 
I'm just screaming at the fact that I have on my pimple stickers on camera with you guys. It, yeah, we're getting very, very intimate, very close. This is the get to know me as well. Almost cut my, my head open. And I'm trying to cut the lace pretty close to the hairline because this lace is not HD. So I want to work with as little of it as possible. Boom. Same thing on this side. The left side is always so difficult for me. All right, now that my lace is fully cut, we're gonna use a little bit of lace melt spray. And we're just gonna spray that directly on the lace. You wanna make sure the wig band is nice and tight so it doesn't move. It really just locks that lace in place. I am going to start straightening this hair because yeah, it's body wave and we weren't going for Ariel today. I'm going to spray a little heat protectant on the ends of the hair first and then just a little bit on the actual hair and just run it through. You don't need too much. What I do like about this heat protectant too is that it makes the hair super glossy. I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. Make sure those ends are protected. Just run our fingers through. Then I'm going to grab my claw clip again, take out a piece of hair, and then I'm just gonna pin the rest up so it is out of the way. Get our comb out, I'm gonna get my hot comb and get to work. First pass, it's already gotten the hair pretty straight. So I can already kind of see that this hair takes heat really well. It's kind of like tedious to get the waves out of a body wave wig, but I want this hair straight. So basically I'm just gonna do this to the entire wig. Now that we are done straightening, I'm going to check on this lace. All right, now I'm gonna get my hot comb out and we're gonna start working on the hairline. I'm just gonna wax along my part that I've tried to create here. And then we're gonna get the crown of the head for any flyaways. So now I am going to section out the hair that I want to be baby hairs. I'm not going to do much. And I'm just going to pull this down. I'm also going to use this time to tint the rest of my lace. I'm going to get a little bit of excess foundation and I'm just going to tap the parts of the lace that are still kind of showing. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna brush out what I want my baby hair to be. I'm going to put a little bit of foundation in there too. And then I'm going to cut these baby hairs. So to lay our baby hairs, we're gonna use a little bit of eco styling gel and some adhesive spray. We're gonna get a little bit of eco. I always say the key to doing baby hairs, if you're not good at them, is to not do a lot of them. I'm not good at baby hairs, so I don't do a lot of them. A lot of times I like to just do no baby hairs, but I wanted to try out the little one baby hair for the side part, you know, like, yeah. So that's what we're doing. Because otherwise, you would not see nary a baby hair on my head. I'm gonna spray a little bit of adhesive spray on top and then just brush that along the hair just to make sure it stays in place, at least for today. Tomorrow, I don't care, but you're not about to have me looking crazy at this work, man. That's what you're not about to do. Get our brush back into it and really just settle everything in. Now we can get into styling. So the hairstyle that I wanna do, I saw on this other YouTuber's page that I subscribe to. Her name is Caroline. She's bomb, okay? Like, yeah, she's just, she's everything. Um, and I saw her do this hairstyle where it was like a side part and then blunt cut and the ends were flipped. And I was like, yeah, bookmark 
mark, I want to do that. So when I saw her do the hairstyle, she actually blunt cut the ends just with straight up scissors. And I was like, oh, she went for it. So yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I just want to make sure everything is as straight as possible before I do this cut. I want it to be right about here. I'm just gonna cut, cut, cut. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this side, eyeballing it. I'm not mad at this, it's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm kind of living for it. Now is my favorite part, the part that I am most excited about, which is bumping the ends. For this, I'm going to just use my good old flat iron, my teasing brush, and then I also have some perm rods just so I can set the curls as well. So first thing we're gonna do is take one piece. I'm gonna spray just a little bit more heat protectant on the ends. And we're just gonna bring our straightener down. And then once we get towards the ends, we're gonna start rolling it as if we're making a curl. Keep pulling and twisting and pulling and twisting. And boom, you should have one curl that looks like this. So once I'm done with that, grab a flexi rod and we're going to wrap this curl around the flexi rod so it can set and then pin it. And it should look like this. So we're gonna do the same thing for the entire head. I'm spraying a little bit of adhesive spray on the end of the curl to help it set in as well. Just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the curl and wrap it around the perm rod. Since I forgot to do it to this first one, I'm going to just spray a little bit on it now. Couldn't hurt. Okay, so now that I'm done curling my ends, um, I'm going to let these set and I'm gonna run and go do my makeup and then we can finish up. All right, my makeup is done. I took my curlers out and I also gave myself a, like a little swoop, you dig? It was a busy hour, but this is the finished look. Give me y'all side part realness. Do y'all see it? You don't see it, you don't. Um, I'm happy with this. I feel like the girls at work are gonna be gagged. I'm really finna show them how to do nine to five for real. I'm giving you corporate baddie. I'm giving nine to five hottie. Yeah, I'm in love with the final look. I love the curled ends. I love the baby hairs. I love the side swoop. I love the side part. And then I feel like with the turtleneck, I'm giving you Kim Possible. I'm giving Poison Ivy. I'm giving Jessica Rabbit. Who are some other iconic redheads? Comment down below because I feel like I look like all of them. Everything is working. So yeah, shout out to Nadula Hair. Thank you for sending me this wig. I was doubtful at first. I did not know if I would like this color, but I think red belongs to me now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a like. Comment any questions, comments, or compliments. Would love to hear it all. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that little bell so you get a notification every time I post. Y'all know the deal. And then of course, go ahead and follow me on my socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing everywhere. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, I have to leave. It's it's definitely 6.55 and I'm supposed to be leaving at 7 so I gotta go. As always, it's your girl Mina. Thank y'all for watching. Have a good day.